Hey everybody, it's Mike Fahey with Snack Taku here, and people have been asking me ever since Episode 7 was announced, Fahey, what is Snack Taku going to do to celebrate Star Wars The Force Awakens? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pull out our lightsabers, and we're going to activate them with light flashing on them so you can't see them glow, and um, then we're going to eat some mac and cheese. Why mac and cheese? Because it's Star Wars mac and cheese. The craft people actually reached out to me and asked me to review Star Wars mac and cheese, and I thought, why would I review mac and cheese? Everyone knows mac and cheese is delicious, especially craft mac and cheese. It's kind of synonymous with mac, mac and cheese. But this is Star Wars mac and cheese. It's different. I mean, it's not shaped like macaroni. It's shaped like Star Wars characters. There's, uh, There are four different collectible, well, eight different collectible boxes, each with a different character on them. Uh, and on the back... They have half the character's face, so you have to collect both sides. Now, because of this, uh, Kraft sent me four boxes. Uh, two of them were Yoda. One side of Yoda. So, thanks, Kraft. Thanks. Anyway, I've got Darth Vader, Yoda, and C-3PO. Now, inside the box, same stuff. Don't worry about the inside of the box. If you're going to eat this stuff, don't, don't worry about it. If you're going to collect this stuff, why are you collecting macaroni and cheese? This macaroni and cheese. Uh, let me see the shapes here. Let's go ahead and get a look at these. I'm opening up a box, a collector's box. I'm ruining it for everyone. Um, what I like about macaroni and cheese, Kraft's brand and other, well, other brands as well. Cheese packet. The macaroni is just right in the box. It's like it's pasta. <laughs> it's, it's like it's pasta. It's really trying. We have uh, Darth Vader, I guess. Don't eat that raw. There's C-3PO's head. That's really too close for you to see anything. Uh, oh, it's a little Yoda. He's like a little friend for you. Oh, I'm Yoda. I'm going to keep these on my desk and just uh, talk to them. X-Wing. Oh, I have pictures of these all. But X-Wing. No, don't, don't eat those. Little skewed R2-D2 who didn't quite make it through. That's fine. We'll do pictures of those. And we know Star Wars the Mac and Cheese will be a powerful force in the universe, uh, of course, because it says Star Wars on it. And, uh, of course, all the Star Wars fans will be lining up for this. Uh, I was at Walmart the other day, and there was a line of, like, 20 people just standing there in costume. You can probably pick it up at a store if you're lucky. Get there early. Uh, Black Friday's coming up. Maybe they'll have some sales. Uh, but right now we're going to try. I have prepared a bowl of Mac and Cheese. This is my job, is preparing myself a bowl of mac and cheese. The preparations on the back say six cups of water, one half tablespoon of unsalted butter, and three tablespoons of fat-free milk. Uh, when I was a kid, that was different. I th I'm pretty sure it was like six tablespoons. Oh, just screw it, throw in all the unsalted butter you have, and pour a big bowl of milk in there. Um, so they've gotten really conservative in their estimates. It's like a spoonful. I'm um, using my child's green gl uh, clear spoon, because it reminds me of a lightsaber. Let's go ahead and, uh, and see how Star Wars tastes. You can really taste the midichlorians. Midichlorians. Everyone loves midichlorians. The thing with the shaped pasta, the shaped, uh, the shaped Kraft macaroni and cheese, uh, and this goes for all shapes really. The way they do this gridlock mark here thing, I, I think the macaroni, the, the, the elbow macaroni is the perfect shape for this taste to take. Uh, once you start getting nooks and crannies in there, it, it takes on a different taste. There's a slightly bitter aftertaste, uh, which it is either because of the shape is concentrating too much of the flavor, or because my milk went bad. No, it's not bad. My kids drink 20 gallons of it a day. What I like most about Kraft milk, macaroni and cheese is you'll never get this sort of cheese taste anywhere else, even in real cheese. Is that to say it doesn't taste like cheese? No, it tastes exactly like Kraft macaroni and cheese, and that is obviously cheese. It says it right in the box. Look, macaroni and cheese. It's a classic taste, so it makes sense that they use classic characters. I'm sure once episode seven comes out, uh, we'll be getting, you know, BB-8, macaroni and cheese, and Ray, and Ren, and Rune, and Ron, and maybe some really old box mac and cheese with Han and Chewie on it. Hmm. I kind of miss mac and cheese. I make it for the kids all the time, but each box is, uh, is, is what, two servings? And uh, I have two kids, so I never really get any. I'll get a bite here and there. Um, it's really kind of nice just to be here quietly while the kids are at school eating mac and cheese. I feel like I'm cheating on them somehow, and that's just fine. So my dad would have done it to me. Mm. My final recommendation for Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Star Wars 
uh, shaped pasta um, is, you know, don't worry too much about collecting it. You're collecting macaroni and cheese. There's a problem. And uh, if you're going to eat it, use the spork. <laughs> this entire video was just so I could make the use the spork joke. Thanks for watching, everybody. May the spork be with you. Always.